Crowd sophomore from Waterloo, Iowa. Deep man number 40, Al Daring at 44, Lonnie Johnson. The kick will go into the end zone. Daring will take it, put it down, and the Hoosiers the will start from their own 20 yard line. First and 10. Here's the way the Indiana team will line up. Senior. And the pleasure back will be the quick man of the club, number 89, Nate Lundy, a 6 1, 163 pound senior. So the Hoosiers take to the offense for the first time with this 1980 football season. Lonnie Johnson. Gets up 81, maybe two yards. It'll be second down and about eight yards to go. You know, Jerry, that uh, Iowa defensive line have four of their five big men coming back, and that was uh, just basically Indiana's favorite play as you see Cliff there waiting for the play to come in. Five points, number 63, a big so They'll be the messengers throughout the entire afternoon coming in from the far sideline, and uh, head coach Lee Corso. The cream of the crimson set to go. Clifford gets the snap. Will go back to throw for the first time. He's got his receiver, and he is so good. They are saying that Nate Lundy at his front of the sideline, directly in front of the Iowa bench, when the pass came to him at about the 32 or 3 yard line. Jerry, if we see it again, Iowa had everybody loaded up, and they had both linebackers up on the line, which freed Lundy. He was wide open, as you can see here. Nobody near him, but he did step on that line right there when he did catch the football. Clock stop with 14-19 to go on the first period of play. No score, we're just underway at Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana. A near capacity crowd on hand on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Out of the eye again. The pitch comes back to the tailback, Lonnie Johnson. Tries the left side and back to the line of scrimmage, and that is about it. So now the Hoosiers face their first hunting situation of the season and a first for either Rick Salvino or Don Geisler. Number nine, Don Geisler, coming into the lineup. He is a freshman. Neither Geisler nor Salvino have ever kicked in a varsity football game. So, Fred, there's going to be a lot of pressure on either one of the youngsters. In this case, it'll be Don Geisler. Geisler averaged about 44 yards of punt in high school, and I'm interested to see how his first kick's going to go. He's setting on his own seven-yard line, gets it away, and just barely does. Bearcats call ball on the 45-yard line. So it's an effective kick, and there's a flag down on the play back in about the nine-yard line. That time off. A big break of the college football season for the Big Red. Especially if you can get him early. Nate Lundy splits wide to the right side. Put in, setting out far left side of the top of your screen. Out of the power eye again. They get to the tailback, and then it's Lonnie Johnson ties the left side with little or no success. As that front four of Brian Stratus, John Hardy, Mark Boric, Don Ray Tippett, they all come clashing in there. They got maybe a yard on that play. We'll call it second down, and let's call it nine. It was a pretty shaky nine. Dean came from his nose man spot that time, Jerry. He has good lateral movement. He is tough. That's one of the matchups we're going to see. Lucky Wallace on Pat Dean. Walking this over the ball at center. Tim Clifford jumps in behind. Clifford wants to put it in the air again. He's got a receiver. And it's good out across the 45 to the 47-yard line to Bob Stevenson in at tight end. Heron Goody got the starting call, but that was Stevenson that time. As we look at it again, comes in there. Hoosiers break the huddle. Lundy sets wide right. Two tight end offensive formation now. Out of the power eye, Clifford gets the snap from Lucky Wallace in the big back to the end of Lonnie Johnson. Johnson trying to battle his way to the 45. Will be shot just shy off the 45-yard line. 12 minutes, 43 seconds. Clock continues to run in the first period. This Mark Boyce and Andre Tippett get better with the tackle. It's a fourth down in a kicking situation. And again, number nine, Don Geisler, the freshman, comes onto the gridiron. And I would have to guess, Fred, that he's now had his first taste of varsity action. That's got to be a strong plus, even the fact that there was a penalty called on the uh, defensive rush against him. He also got a bad snap uh, last time. Let's hope he doesn't get worried. Jeff Brown is in, one of the deep men. The kick is away. On about the 25-yard line. And a loose ball. It is picked up, I believe, by the Hawkeyes as they get their first break of the game as they drop the punt on about the 25 or 6 yard line. Seconds of playing time in the first period. No score. Indiana and Iowa. The Hawkeyes. Phil Seuss, number 16 at quarterback. A 6'5", 188 pound senior sets his club. They put the man in motion. 
He gives to the tailback, crashing through. There is Jeff Brown. And Brown will get a couple of yards. One of the points of concern about this youngster, Brown, Fred Khalil, is the fact that he's only 5'10", 156 pounds as a sophomore. You have to wonder how much of that he can take game in and game out. Well, what Iowa tries to do with that, Jerry, is spread out their offense. That spreads out the defense, obviously, and you don't have as much gang tackling in there if you do that. So he doesn't get beat up as much. Rod Walden, number 76, makes the tackle for the Hoosier. Keith Chappelle and Nate Person will be the alternate messenger boys at the split end spot. Again over the middle, and no running room this time for Dean McKillop, the 6'2", 207-pound senior. Chappelle at split end is a 6'178-pound senior person, 5'11", 191. Marlon Evans in that linebacking spot comes in to make the stop. Marlon's very strong and very quick. We have played almost four minutes in the first quarter. The Hoosiers have had the ball for a drive, which came to no avail. They have kicked it actually twice the first time. That it was kicked. There was a roughing the kicker call. Indiana got it again. Could not move the football. And now Iowa has it for the first time. With Phil Stoops running back to Dean McKillop and Jeff Brown. Man in motion. And Stoops wants to put it in the air. The lefty got his open net on the right side. It was the wing back who was finally hit and brought down with a resounding tackle on the 25-yard line. Thank you. Very well, linebacker. Reggie Roby, number seven, the young man who kicked off, will be standing on his 10, a kick of about the 14 or 15. He's got the kick away. And the deep man back there will be Wilbur, number eight, Tim Wilbur, the fine junior defensive back. Wilbur across the 30, maybe the 31, and that's it. So the Hoosiers are pushed back. And right now, they had Iowa, Iowa deep back uh, inside the 20, and now Indiana's got it on the 30. Offensive line, strong right. Lundy split wide to the right from that flanker back spot. Clifford with the screen pass, and it's dropped right on the hands of Lonnie Johnson. He had 19 of 28 for 316 yards, and Indiana University Big Ten passing record. Power eye again to the tailback. Johnson flies the left side, runs into Brian Stratus and John Hardy. Got himself maybe a yard on the play, and it's tough going with nine minutes and 38 seconds to play of this first period. They take to the tail back, and Clifford's got it in the air. He's got it. The receiver is Bob Stevenson across midfield, across the 40, down to around the 39-yard line. The officials will try to jump. Brooks goes left, Lundy comes right. Out of the power eye, Tim Clifford is cut behind Lucky Wallace at the center spot. He gives to the fullback, fakes to the fullback. Now he does finally give it to him. Back to the left side, and Jerry Bowers. Boy, Indiana is deep on that running back category of this year. Bowers, Benio, Johnson, Hartwater. And it goes on and on. Quick count. That's Johnson. Flies the left side. Inside the 30, and that'll give him the first. The Hoosiers with the football again after taking to Iowa. The Hawkeyes can do nothing with it. And now with 7.55 to play in the first period, there's no score. And Clifford's got some problems, so he gets free and moves down to the 25-yard line. Mike Harkwater, number 24, has entered the lineup for the first time, replacing Lonnie Johnson at the tailback spot. Harkwater, outstanding runner, 5'7", 185-pound senior. And they don't waste any time giving the ball to him. He gets back near the line of scrimmage, and that will be about it for him. Spider set as a guideline a few years back. 6.42 to play here in the first period. No score. Clifford wants it in the air. He's got a receiver, Stevenson, and he couldn't find the handle on it. There's the Indiana University sideline. That's on Lee Carso. And it's a fourth and eight. They're going to go for it. Six minutes and 37 seconds to play first period. Clifford's got problems, and they've got him back on the 35-yard line. Great defensive pursuit, particularly to the left to the same. The Hoosiers had it with a fourth down and eight on about the 30-yard line, Iowa's 30-yard line. They tried for the first down, failed, and now the Hawkeyes have it for only the second time in this contest with the nose of the ball sitting right on the 35-yard line. Again, setting the backfield for the Hawkeyes. Number 16, Phil Stoos, who is coming to the bottom of your screen to talk to the head coach, Hayden Fry. What I think you're going to see now, Jerry, is Iowa throwing to their backs a little bit more because that 
crowd here on hand at Memorial Stadium on the first game of the season for both Iowa and IU. Out of the power eye, they set the man in motion again. Seuss behind center. Gives to the tailback, packing over the right side. Out for a couple of yards would be Jeff Brown. They don't call him a tailback. They call him a running safety and strong safety spot, respectively. Tim Wilbur's in at cornerback, as is Mark Longshore. Seuss. Wants to throw. The lefty's got a receiver on the near side. He hit him and he's got it good. Doug Dunham, 6-2, senior. Mike Hooker goes wide right. Here's with the second man by Dean McPhillip. McPhillip near midfield. Runs in and out. There's a nice tight shot of Dean McPhillip at the 35. Over the ball, Jay Hilgen throwing a center at the 54. 6'3", 230 pounds senior. Gets the snap back to Sue. The pitch out on the right side to Jeff Brown. Brown is hit and brought down right on the midfield floor. Third down, seven to go. The Iowa Hawkeyes have finally crossed midfield for the first time this afternoon. Steve Mitchell, the flea safety, sets wide to the left side of that defensive secondary. They put the man in motion, does Iowa. Sue's on the reverse. He's got the runner, Jeff Brown, and Brown is caught behind the line, back at about the 45-yard line. Iowa, Fred, it's just about anything from Iowa because they run them all. Now it's bringing, they brought Steve Mitchell, the free safety, right up on the line. Now he backs up here as the front. Roby will get it away. Not a bad kick. Free catch called for, but it goes over from Minio and Mike Parkwater now in that lineup at the uh, tail back and fullback spots, respectively. Here is the pitch coming back to Harkwater. Harkwater's up running with 25, 30, 35, 36 yard line. And Hartrader picks up some yards from turns to the lineup. Clifford again. He's got a receiver wide open. Across midfield down to about the 48 or 49 yard line. We're inside three minutes in the first period. No score. Indiana University with the football and on the run. Nate Lundy comes wide to the right side this time split in left wing second man through Lonnie Johnson to the 45 yard line Greg Brooks splits left they bring Lovey again to the right side power eye with John Minio in the fullback spot now Lonnie Johnson behind him Minio over the middle 40 down to the 35 and he just keeps going to the 34 yard line comes back into the lineup Powers has carried the ball a couple of times. Or 10 yards. On a little bit of a delay. Gary Bowers backs over right guard. Pushes the ball down to the 31 or 32, and a flag is down. With a minute and 54 seconds to play. Mark Raiders in at the tailback spot. Jerry Bowers at fullback. Clifford. Get a snap. Goes right side. And uh, just about back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Devin Spear, number 59, a 6'4", 262-pound senior, is in at center now in place of Lucky Wattace. Clifford huddles up behind him. They give the ball to Hark later again. Mike banks it across the 45, down to the 44-yard line, where Wide outs both ways. Aaron Goaty setting in a tight end on the left side. Clifford will put it up. He wants to go to Aaron Goaty. He's got him. 30, 25, 20. Down to the 16-yard line of first down. It's a first and 10, and the officials call time, and that's the end of the We're back now. Second period of play. The big red of Indiana with the football. Iowa backed up to their defensive line now. The ball in the 16. Up the middle. 29. Jerry Bowers back down to the six of the seven yard line. And this crowd of 50,000 plus on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon. Left side. 
the Hoosiers now with second down and two yards to go for the first down. The ball setting on the seven yard line. Clifford pitches back. A fumble. A loose ball and the race is on. And it appears that well, it's Wade Indiana had it and let it get away. And there's a big pot up on the 30 yard line directly in front of the Iowa bench. And it looks to be an Iowa recovery. It is. The Hawkeyes have the football. Oh, the pitch back from Clifford to Johnson. Lottie couldn't find the handle. Clifford had it momentarily, let it get away, and Peacock came out of there with it. The Hawkeyes get it. They get to the second man through. Cracks to the left side, and that's about it. Jeff Brown. Slot right. They bring the wing man to the left side in tight is basically a split in and Jeff Brown tries that right side again and there is met by a mass of cream and crimson. We have hit 13 minutes in the first half. No score. Big break of the football game belongs to the Iowa Hawkeyes on that recovered fumble on the pitch back to Lonnie Johnson. They set the man in motion done him to the left side. Bill Seuss left hand goes out that away. He's got the receiver out of bounds just shy of the 49 yard line. Mark Longshore the cornerbacking spot with the ball on the 48 yard line. The nose of the ball just shy of there. Slot left. Nobody on the right side of the field. Now they start the man in motion. That is Dunham. The pitch back comes back deep now. Brown. Maybe to the 50 yard line. That would be all. University. Dunham goes the other way. They've got a receiver on the near side. The draw play is given to Brown, and Brown goes nowhere, and Craig Walls is right there to nail him. This slot there, they put Chappelle to the left wing. The doctor, Phil Suits, sets behind the center, Jay Hilgenberg. Jeff Brown on a slant. Got himself a couple of yards and seven. On the 46-yard line, will be forced to kick it away, and Reggie Roby will be back to kick the sophomore. Deep man is John Rogeman. And Tim Wilbur. They're heading toward Wilbur, calls for the fair catch, and drop the football. It's, there's going to be a flag, and I think the interference call will be called against Iowa front. I don't think they gave Wilbur any opportunity to grab that football. No, they didn't, Jerry. I think you have to give him a couple yards, and they just they didn't do it. And that's probably... Indiana with the football down inside the five, about the seven or eight yard line, I guess it was. They fumbled and gave the ball back to Iowa. Minio, Hart Raider, just behind Clifford. They'll give the ball to Hart Raider. Back maybe to the line, if indeed that far. Stevenson, 6'3", 234 pound junior from Evansville Rice, a chemistry major. Sets to the right side, Lundy's here. Blacker back to the left. They've got the screen pattern set up, and it's overthrown. Winning game of the season for each of these ball clubs with a tremendous amount of enthusiasm on the part of both. In fact, Iowa brought some 5,000 fans here to Bloomington, Indiana this Saturday afternoon to back their Hawkeyes. Clifford wants to go again. Over the middle, incomplete and almost intercepted. Deep man was Tracy Crocker with three letters and all state honors at Richard Montgomery High in Rockville, Maryland. In fact, he kicked a 55-yard field goal one time. A Maryland High School record, Frazier and Brown of the deep men. A fumble, Geisler gets it back and just barely got the kick away. It's a poor kick being called for and guarded in on the 35-yard line. Something like that that the Hoosiers had early on when they got inside the 10 and fumbled the ball away. Move it in the backfield, basically back to the power eye, wide out both ways. They give us to the tailback, Jeff Brown, and Brown goes nowhere. Backer. We don't have the time, Fred, to go through the number of changes in the line, but there have been offensive players shifted to defense, players going from tackle to guard to center. It's been, a, as it always is at the start of the season, intercepted. The ball is picked up by Mark Longshore. Longshore on about the 47 or 8 yard line and the first interception of the season. Tendon receiver. IU football again. Power eye. Wide out both ways. Clifford looks to throw over the middle. He's got the receiver. That is... Dave Heron Goaty across midfield, across the 40, and finally down just shy of the 35 yard line. Reception from quarterback Tim Clifford. Lovely left. They've got the man open again and run out of bounds across the way. Is Joey Bowers. 
That's this year has been phenomenal right from the outset of the back to spring practice for that matter. You really like to have that too because that obviously provides depth. Basically the two tied in formation with Lundy sit left. The pitch back. To Lonnie Johnson. Johnson bangs it across the 25. Down to the 24 yard line. Now the Hoosiers on the drive now with eight minutes and ten seconds to play and listen to the second period. Still no score. First and ten. Indiana on the Iowa 25 yard line. Pitch back to Mike Harkrader. Harkrader is stopped for a loss of about three yards on five defensive pursuit. Bobby Stoops off. George Person into the free safety spot deep. Defensive man Tracy Crocker set out on Nate Lundy. Wide left offensively now for the Hoosiers of IU. With 7.20 to go and this is the first half. Clifford getting pressured. Gets the pass away and is incomplete. Soon is out. So is Corso. Medio, Harkrader. We get Johnson at the tailback spot, settling in now behind Tim Clifford. Lundy goes left. Clifford coming back, fakes the draw to Johnson, gets the pass away, and it's incomplete. Going to Harris' first appearance this 1980 football season. It'll be a 43-yard field goal attempt. Ash Marks on the right side. Snap is good. The placement is good. The kick is high enough and far enough, and it is no good. They're calling the door so far in this football game, but they have the ball now in their own territory. The ball right on the 22-yard line. And the second man through, Jeff Brown, again, is grabbed and knocked down by Craig Kumaro. And this game. Brown now with 19 yards total rushing. Seuss went back, and I'm not sure now, Fred, if he intended to do that or simply could not find the receiver. It could have been the quarter Tulin. Mark Longshore on the defensive secondary for the Hoosiers. Iowa with Bill Seuss at quarterback as he has been from the outset of this football game. Slot left to put the slot man in motion, Doug Dunham. Seuss wants to go to Dunham. He's got him on a cut-in pattern and he cannot catch it. That'll stop the clock with five minutes and 51 seconds. Two back there with him. Here is the punt away by Roby. Off the side of the foot, a low scribbling kick. It is touched by Rogeman. No, he let it go apparently. By Dix and IU bounce and will be finally marked down in the 32 or 3 to rest on the 33-yard line. Indiana with the football in possession and Tim Clifford still at quarterback. Setting up behind Lucky Wallace. He goes deep this time. His ball is in the air. It's anybody's catch and it's finally knocked away and no penalty call either. By the secondary of Iowa. Clock stopped with five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Still no score. Second down and ten. Over the middle to Stevenson. Bob Stevenson, 45, 49-yard line. Knocked down. Mark Wader. Neither club has have yet able to penetrate the end zone. The draw play over the middle to Mike Harkwader. Harkwader across the field, down to the 40-yard line. To pound Iowa in the first down category. Four minutes, 34 seconds to play in the half. Clifford setting deep. He's got company. There is the lob pass on the right side, and he dropped it. In Lexington, Kentucky, Commonwealth Stadium, University of Kentucky, Iowa is at Nebraska. Clifford again. Over through his intended receiver. Split in. Bowers is in, in place of John Minio. At the fullback spot, the up back and the I formation. Johnson setting behind him. They fake the gift to Johnson over the middle of the interception. Out of the backfield is Tracy Crocker, the 35 of the 40, the 41 yard line. There we go. Now we're set to go with two minutes and 34 seconds of playing time in the first half and still no score. A third down and three, an all important play for both Iowa and IU as the ball is on the 34 yard line of the Hoosiers. The pitch back to Jeff Brown. Brown. Gets free across the 30, down to the 25 or 6 yard line, and a first down. And that's about the first time he'll be sorely tested with two minutes and nine seconds to play in the first half. No score. First and ten. Iowa Hawkeyes football just outside the 25 yard line. Seuss sets up at quarterback. They give the ball to Brown again. Brown bulldogs his way to the 23 or 4 yard line. Screen. 31, Craig Kumaro. 
Now they go into the first time this afternoon. They have used the pro set with the split backs. And again, they put Doug Dunham in motion to the left side. Two tight ends. The pitch comes back. There is reverse. They're going to throw the ball. This is Seuss. He's got him out of the end zone. Touchdown! Just a nice play, a trick play. Inside handoff from Brown to Seuss. And they just had the IU secondary fooled as you see Dunham wide open over Mark Longshore. Oh. Roby with the point after. It is up. It is no good. Roby. That's exactly what they did that time. You look at Reggie Roby set to kick off to the deep man, Al Daring, number 40, and Lonnie Johnson, number 44. That's number 44, Lonnie Johnson, in your picture right there. Daring will be at the top of your screen. It's going to Daring. He steps out to about the five-yard line, across the 10, 15, 20, 25, 26-yard line. Just exploded when that touchdown was, pass was caught by Dunham. On the 26, Clifford, right side, incomplete, back live, right side, Mike Parkwaiter, 5'7", 185, we have less than a minute to go on the first half, 57 seconds to be more precise, and the score, University of Iowa Hawkeyes 6, the Hoosiers of IU, nothing, Ball is back on Indiana's own 28-yard line. It's a third down of 10. Make it third down at about eight. Lucky Wallace over the ball of center. Clifford sneaks in behind him. Power eye, wide out both ways. Clifford going back. He's got an open man. Upfield it is caught. Steve Corso. Head coach Lee Corso. 53 seconds remain on the clock. Now it's a first and 10. Ball across the 48-yard line. Clifford looking to go the other way this time. Throws it into a heavy traffic area, and it is intercepted. I think that is Bobby Stoops who has picked it off. Or is it Mel Cole, the linebacker? Somebody was back there and managed to pick it off. And the Hawkeyes have given it up. Hawkeyes leading 6-0. Pitch back again to Jeff Brown. Returns to that lineup. They're trying to come this time to Chappelle. They've got him across the 30. Chappelle for uh, in scoring on this club last year. Never get him number three in scoring with 37 points, 22 of 25 points after five of 11 field goal. As long as it's 44, so we can reach it, it'll be a 44-yard field goal. It's got the distance. It is good. Reggie Roby back to the hole to beat Gales. Reggie Roby knocks one out and 10 pressure. Ball booted to pressure about five or six yards deep in the end zone. He chooses not to bring it up. Indiana with 12 first downs and Iowa with six, but it's a 9-0 football game. Here come the Hawkeyes up to the line of scrimmage. Wide outs both ways, out of the eye again. They put Dunham in motion to the left side. Indiana swings the defensive man over there, and Seuss comes back and completes the pass to Mike Hufford, setting up on the tight end spot on the right side. Angling in, picks up four or five yards. We'll check the two deep men. They'll be Steve Mitchell for one. Mark Longshore is back there, as is Dart Ramsey and Tim Wilbur. Ramsey moving over defensively right side. Here comes the pitch back to the trailing back. Finally out of bounds, Jeff Brown. Just in the second half. Slot left. A bit of a delay to Dean McKillop, the fullback. McKillop, third period. Football just across the 35-yard line. The University of Iowa Hawkeyes. Smack the middle. And Marlon Evans comes up and 10th. Passing defense with 10th out of 10. Third and five. The big red sea of red begins to make some noise. Encouraging the defensive unit now of Indiana. 
Pitch comes back to Brown again. Brown gets the first down or close to it. He hits a cross. Hawkeyes have not been over 500 since 1961, but they're impressive this afternoon as again Jeff Brown carries a football across the 45. 12 minutes exactly to play, and this is the third quarter of action. They do it again, and that is Brown again across the 45. They get the 44 yard line. Marlon Evans is there. 17 carries, 57 yards for Jeff Brown. It's the Iowa Hawks football. The Hawkeyes have it on their on the IU 44-yard line, a first and 10 situation, and Brown's got it again. And this time, he has hit and brought down and brought down in a hurry. Two receivers, wide right, one of which is Keith Chappelle, the split end at the bottom of your screen. And as Jeff Brown climbed the left side, he is met, but manages to break away and smack it out to about the 40-yard line. From the punt, you're in good shape. You had a shot of Hayden Fry, second-year head coach of the Hawkeyes, rousing the sidelines. Here we go. High formation. Slot right. Seuss. Fakes to Brown. Rolls. He's trying to find the open man. There's nobody there. And he's down. Marlon Evans cut him off and in Indiana University at that time and taking McKillop out of the play. He was the lead blocker. Here is the putt by Roby. Sailing into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. And the entire football game for the Big Red. Out of the eye formation. See Perso is wide to the left side. Clifford gives up the middle. Running low. Up to the midfield strike is Jerry Bowers, the fullback field. Rook holds the 50. It'll be first and 10 now. Indiana on the move. They give it again to Bowers. He gets to the 45 and 40. It went just under six yards. 5.8, and that is impressive. Eight minutes, 35 seconds, third period. Indiana with the football. They've got it in Iowa territory. They've got it to Lonnie Johnson. Johnson picks himself up a couple of yards. Up, motion on the left side of the Indiana line. Somebody over there, I don't know if it was Otting or Golden, jumped offside, Fred. I believe it was Otting, and you just can't afford to have those types of mistakes in a drive like this. The important play with third down. Let's call it eight yards to go for the first down. Powers flies the middle and got nowhere. Pull the gas out of it. They had that fumble call, and on this last play, Iowa put all eight men on the line, and they ran right into them. And consequently, they're funny. Iser will kick it. It looks like it'll go into the end zone. It hits right on the goal line and does go into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Sure as the world. Tailback, Jeff Brown. Picks himself. Bill Seuss going back. The lefty wants to put one in the sky. He flares it off to Jeff Brown. Brown's got a blocker across the 30. Not near the 35, to the 38 yard line. It's 55 to play, third period. Brown again. This time for little or no game. Maybe games by the way, and then took the SMU to the Astro Blue Bonnet Bowl in 68 beat Oklahoma that year, 28 27. That's Brown again. Look out, he's got some running room. He gets around Mitchell. It's Longshore trying to chase him down, and he finally does on the 23 yard line. Oh, he has been impressive. He's a converted wide receiver, by the way. They fake the pitch and give the ball to Dean McKillop. Oh, McK and I believe indeed Blacher will be in there as they go to the pro set. Split back, slot right. It is Blacher who has the football, as a matter of fact, and skirts around the left side down to about the 11-yard line. Ronnie Russell, Matt Petrozelka, Greg Gilbaugh, Jay Hilgenberg, Dave Mayen, and Bruce Kittle. Left to right. Dean McKillop. Approaching the six-yard line, maybe the seven. <laughs> Number 30, Marty Ball is running at fullback. A 6'1 junior, 198 pounds. Excellent defensive play on Jeff Brown. Football game. Right now, it's waiting on Indiana University's defensive parade. A big play, third and five for Iowa from the Hoosier six-yard line. McKillop, nope, so keeps it and goes to about the one. He's awfully close to the first down. Important play, particularly for the Hoosiers. That goal line defense digs in. A 10-man foot. One of the defenders out on the wide receiver to the right side of the field. 
Zeus at quarterback for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And he did not make it. But let's see if he got the first down. That was Terry Callum, the man. Two minutes, 28 seconds of playing time. Third period, it's 9-0 Iowa. Indiana deep in its own territory at about the one. Clifford rolling back in the end zone, comes out. He's got the receiver, and it's good. Completed pass on the 14-yard line. Almost always works. Ran right at his defensive man, then came back with the momentum, taking the defensive man the other way. Two minutes, 23 to play. Clock is stopped. Clifford behind Sutter. He gives to Lonnie Johnson, and Johnson finds no running room. May have lost a yard by the right side. Defensive effort just seconds ago to get the football back inside the one. Intended for Nate Lundy, and Lundy was out working. That's how you see the interceptions. When you throw it up kind of high, then it's in open season. Ray Brooks is in at the split end spot. Up the middle, and nothing. Right back to the line of scrimmage, and that's not his own five, maybe six yard line. And this is a pressure punt for a freshman. Snap is a good one. Heisler's got it away. Heading out to about the 45-yard line of Iowa, wherein they call for the fair catch, and they'll start from their own 45. The 100-yard mark now, 23 carries, 102 yards. Jay Hilgenberg over the ball at center. Seuss. Now he will put it up, or will he? Nope, he's going to run it. And runs out of bounds instead. Chappelle said right. They put person in motion. A bit of a delay to Jeff Brown. Brown cracks over the middle. Got himself about four. It's third down and four for Iowa with 12 seconds remaining, third period. They put Brown in motion. A single setback gets the ball. That is Dean McKillop. He does not get the first down. It's a fourth in situation as the fourth down. Iowa Hawkeyes, Roby back to punt from his own 40-yard line, gets the kick away, got good pressure that time, angles to the corner and gets it, and are calling it a touchback, it'll come out to the 20, the Hawkeyes likewise had trouble moving it, have had to kick it back, and the Hoosiers now have it on their own 20-yard line, with 14.52 to go here in the fourth period, and still a 9-0 football game in favor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, this is Clifford, he comes out near side to London, it is caught, he is out of bounds. Hurts and also when you have that primary receiver out there 10 and 12 yards it sure is better than five and six for the tight end Clifford Lonnie Johnson got a step or two on his man across the 40 out to the 41 he'll pick up Bob Stevenson is in there Nate Lundy will swing right side 14-14 to play in this football game at a 9-0 University of Iowa lead. Clifford's got an opening across the midfield strike. The 45, the 40, the 35. He is knocked out of bounds in the 42-yard line. Stop the clock with 14-3 to go. Awfully important drive for the big red of IU. Up the middle, Jerry Bowers. Bowers to the 30. He'll get a couple of the types of coverages that Iowa runs. Steve Corso is the man wide. He's out of your screen at the very bottom. There's a good close peek inside of some of the play that goes up. Here is the pitch back to Johnson. Johnson to the 30, the 25, the 22 yard line. He's running him out. Tim Clifford's having some trouble hearing. He made a motion to the crowd to settle down, but this is the first thing they've had to yell about in a long, long time. Clifford over the middle, the first man through. Jerry Bowers, maybe a yard, and that would be giving him benefit of the doubt. Yeah, that left tackle defensive spot for the Hawkeyes. 12 minutes and 45 seconds remain in the ball game. Clifford fakes the give to Hartwater. Goes, and it's incomplete. Settles in over the ball at center. Behind him is Clifford. Jerry Bowers at fullback. Lonnie Johnson at the tailback spot. Clifford keeps it. Inside the 15. Inside the 10. Up out of bounds in the nine and a half yard line. And that's the first down. 
Clifford last year set IU season record yardage and total offense, and that's one of the reasons the total offense was so high. He can run the football. Clifford, pitch back to Lonnie Johnson. Johnson down to about the six or seven yard line. A pickup of a couple on the play. Well, surprisingly, Lonnie Johnson. An up close shot of them. You'll see the perspiration on their jerseys, both sides of the line. It's a second down and goal situation. The ball is on about the seven yard line. Here is Clifford. Clifford throws into the end zone. Touchdown! The hold. He is a sophomore. Kevin Kellogg, the senior, will kick. The snap is back, the kick is up, it is gone! IU 7. Men will be number 10, Frazier, and number 27, Jeff Brown. The ball is going deep, and Frazier's got it on the 5, fakes the give to Jeff Brown, brings it himself on the near side, gets across the 15, out to about the 18-yard line where he's hit and dragged down, and number now it's an important offensive series for the Iowa Hawkeyes. The doctor, Phil Seuss, sets up the big 6-5. Senior moves back, the lefty wants to throw. He's got a receiver out, and it's almost caught and almost intercepted at the same time. Out of Ben Davis High School, a quarterback in high school for his father, who was the head coach there. 11 minutes and 47 seconds to play third period. Seuss has got the open man on the near side, Keith Chappelle. Chappelle will get the first down before finally stopped by Craig Walls and Tim Wilbur. The score, the kickoff has gone to the Iowa Hawkeyes. They have the ball on a bit of a, an offensive pattern on the 31-yard line. It's been slow going. Here is Brown across the 30 to 31. Where was Bad front for IU. Seuss the lefty. He's got a receiver and it's deflected away and a fine effort from Jimmy Hunter. Ramsey, Mitchell, Longshore. An important play. Third down and nine. We're inside 11 minutes. Seuss needs some yards. He's got it to Brown. Brown across the 30, the 35, the 40. Knocked out of the 41. And it depends on where they spot it. If he made the first down, if they spot it right there where the official has his foot, it is a first down. Secondary of the Big Red. 10 minutes and 43 seconds remain to be played in this football game. It's a first and 10 Iowa. That was an important play for the Hawkeyes. Now they bust it up the middle. They've got running room across the 35, the 30. They'll go all the way for the touchdown. Oh, they cut him at the five-yard line. Jeff Brown caught by Dart. Quick trap. As you see the guard block down, look at that. Right back there, they cut it back. The linebackers get fooled. That's Craig Walls. And he goes, cuts back on Mitchell. Talent in pursuit. But Dart Ramsey has some jets and brings him down to save the TD, and it's going to be up to the defense. Ten minutes and five seconds to play in the fourth and final period. Brown again, right side, did not get it. Down is a tremendous defensive situation for the Hoosiers. They met the challenge once more. Can they do it again? They do not. Touchdown. The whip for the TD. There's the blocking scheme. Everybody blocks down. They go right off tackle between the tackle and tight end. Talon can't get to him. And there. By Brown, and suddenly everything takes on a different perspective. Well, Jerry, so. most people know Iowa as a passing team as we see the kick up and good. But they Iowa, 16. Indiana, 7. Number 40, Al Daring, and number 44, Lonnie Johnson. Getting into the end zone. Daring will chase it down. It goes completely out of the end zone. It'll be a touch. Lucky Wallace jumps over the ball at the center spot, and Tim Clifford gets in behind him. Jerry Bowers is running out of the fullback spot this trip. Lonnie Johnson to tailback. They fake to Johnson. They come on the near side. They've got the receiver, and it's good. That is a tremendous effort by Spring. He's out of Bloomington North High School, a 5'11", 175, 22-year-old senior. 9.17 to play. Clifford drops the ball off again on the near side. Up the near side lines is Bowers crawling, squirming, fighting, and clawing his way to just shy of the 40-yard line. Clifford's. Eight minutes, 35 seconds remain to be played in this football contest. Stevenson dropped the football. It's Iowa's ball. If they call it a completed pass, and they do, it belongs. Big Red of IU. Eight minutes and 22 seconds remain. The ball is in Hoosier territory at the 48. The pitch back comes to Brown. Brown to the 42-yard line. Nate Person, number 81, is the only outside receiver. Brown 
runs in the slot left this time. Seuss years as a defensive back and then he spent was on the scout team quarterbacking uh, unit at that same time as Brown carries again so in the third period and now they've got their hands full as Bill Blacher sweeps the right side he is he's in the pro set at the top of your screen Seuss can't find a receiver he's got blockers on the right side runs to the up in a fourth and two they have precious little to lose here they're going to go for the first down, and the crowd begins to roar its defensive challenge, and they've got the first down, I believe. They had to get it across the 26, and they're down near the 25, and Craig Walls again. And that C of... We are now at 5-14 of the fourth period. Iowa has scored to take that 16-7 lead. Indiana's given the ball up, and the Hawkeyes have it again on the offensive... football on the 26. Dean McKillop. Again, they try the middle and nothing happens. Ball game at 16 to 7. University of Iowa leads Indiana. Pro set again. Seuss over the middle. Incomplete. Receivers. So the Hoosiers got the football in that fourth down situation. And Clifford needs now to put the ball in the air. That's quite obvious. He fakes the give. He goes across to the other side to Heron Goaty. Lundy sets out wide to the right. Split in goes the other way. Clifford comes to Lundy and threw it right in. He was at Kentucky next Saturday afternoon. Clifford. Fourth and two in your football game to this point. Wrapped up right here with three minutes and 24 seconds to play. Fourth down and two. Clifford's got some trouble. Pitches back. They do not get the first down. Since the score, Indiana's had the football once, coughed it up on a fumble. Iowa's got it now as they head back up field again. The Hoosiers for second and seven. Two wide receivers at the bottom of your screen, out of your picture, as a matter of fact. There's strong right, pro set again. Up the middle of McKillop. Or in some cases, six and seven of Indiana, time and time again. But it's 57 to play. A fourth and one. They will not go for the field goal. They'll try to pick up the first down. They are at or near, and they do have the first down. Phil Blake had an important one, particularly on the road. Over the middle again, Marty Ball. Out of the 12. My special thanks today to John Osler, as all do. 12 seconds remain in this football game. Iowa, right side. Marty Ball, and that'll be your final play of the contest. Ping, Indiana University 7, as the Hawkeyes swarm out on the field. The Big Red do likewise on the other side. The thrill of victory in the Aggies. Been brought to you.